long ball. Another bunt laid down. It's picked up by the first baseman. This time, Amalia Ross, and no throws. So top of the order, Henry and Scott both. So a couple of runners on for Jolie Mitchell, the DP. She shows bunt. It goes back to the screen, and the runners will each advance 60 feet on a wild pitch. Only 21, so she's got another year of eligibility left. After this one, softly hit to short. Lisa Torres on to first. The runners have to hold up, so Mitchell unable to advance them. Henry stays at third. Atwood pops this up. Out of the short right. This might be trouble, but coming on at the last moment, Hallie Waycaser now tagging up and scoring is Caden Henry. They just hung on to the ball, and wow. Henry was going to stay at third. Again, barely made it out of the infield. You see the second baseman Flaherty going out. Waycaser coming in. Waycaser makes the catch, and then she turns to hand the ball to the second baseman Flaherty, and when Henry sees that, she... Alyssa Washington sends it to center field. Janai Kerr back. It's over her head and off the base of the fence. Mia Scott cruises in from second, and in the second is Alyssa Washington with her sixth double of the season. And Texas has now scored twice here in the top of the first. That is the 52nd double of the year. Pop off this bat. This is on the outer half. It looks like a backdoor curveball, and Washington just gets extended. This team is so good at keeping their barrel inside the ball, and because of that, the ball just jumps. 102 extra base hits, so that double makes it 103. And strike three gets Stewart looking but Texas is top 20 in the nation. Right back to the circle, speared by Morgan. Defending her position and um, Mac Morgan has a lot of different tools and uh, her fielding ability is one of those. She is quick. And she lost her. Beecham works the walk after falling behind a ball and two strikes. That was first inning for Mac. Absolutely. Every, Every, yeah, a little it's different. different. Exactly. Let's talk about the three different strike zones. Bouncing ball softly hit right side. Washington with the underhand shovel toss. To get you. Sometimes it's just a little adjustment, a little movement, bring up that shoulder. Line to second base and mm. down to her knees. Alyssa Washington makes the catch to retire the side. So Morgan is going to throw the ball. So she gives a good look. There you go. She'll go down and then come back up. Through the hole and into left field. Viviana Martinez against the Texas second with a base hit. With number three. Four already for the Horns. This is a program that was a national runner-up a couple years ago. And speaking of bunting, and they can't throw him out again as Maloney beats that out. Down to second goes Martinez. Two on, nobody out for Texas. It's 7.38 as a team. Another bunt. Throw to first will be in time from the third baseman, Jason E. Beecham. But it does advance the other runners, so a sacrifice. Martins, no matter who they are facing. Misses upstairs. Scott sends it down the left field side, slicing towards the corner, caught by Mudge, tagging up. Maybe Martinez will scoot it and score. A sack fly for Scott. Her 21st RBI, and Texas adds on here in the second and makes it 3-0. Is this going to stay in play? It will. In foul territory, caught by Amaya Ross. Mitchell fouls out to retire the side. But Texas just a little up the road on I-35. Hits one back past the pitcher, Morgan, but close but safe at first as Washington's throw got there just a little late. And Lisa Torres. My Ross. Sends one to center field. Henry came in a step, then a step or two to her right. Catches that line drive for the first out. This is she's gonna she's burying it in the dirt. She's not leaving it up mid thigh. That's chopped through the right side and a base hit for Michaela Edenfield. Stopping at second is Torres. Yep, like Edenfield just did. Let it travel, hit it inside out. That is always the key in this game. Ground ball to second, out there to first and a double play. Ends the inning. 4-6-3. Washington to Martinez to Stewart. A little 
floater down to the right field side, and that's going to drop kick away from Waycaser. And Atwood's off to the races. She's around second. She's headed for third. She'll even take a little turn there. And she's going to have her first triple of the season. Play like that to get a triple if you're a catcher. Say, I was trying to avoid the catcher comment because, you know, my, my, catch, my former catchers would give me a hard time. <laughs> the second one handed out by McKenna Reed. And the Horns have first steps in. Squares. Trailing runner Washington will steal second base, her fourth bag of the year. Do work inside. Yeah, there's a lot of things that play into it in our sport. That's going to be dropped into right field, base hit. Wallace will come in. Throw comes to the plate, and down to second base goes Stewart. RBI single for Stewart. Washington over to third, and Stewart takes advantage of the throw home. Katie Stewart making some adjustments off the plate. This pitch inside, she's jammed up a little bit, but she finishes her swing, and you can see she doesn't completely barrel it up, but she gets enough of it to dump it in front of Waycaser. And then the throw comes in, it's elevated, she misses the cut. Lifted to right, and a play for Harding. She makes the catch, here's the tag. Washington halfway stops, now they got the trailing runner, Stewart. They're gonna allow her to come back to the second base bag. Brown ball base hit through the wicket to Stewart. Washington is in. Stewart follows her and a pinch hit, two run single. Katie Simmons. Just so many tools to be able to bring off the bench. Katie Simmons, a lot of experience last year playing first base hitting as well. This is an off speed pitch and she's just gonna barrel it up, shoot it right back up the middle, and as you said, right through the wickets. Katie Stewart doing a good job of avoiding this. If she'd have been hit, she'd have been out, but instead, that is a great line drive up the middle for Katie Simmons to pick up a couple more runs for the Longhorns. Dayton sacrificed in her first plate appearance. It's a chopper towards second base. Flaherty, tag, throw, safe at first. You do get an out. She has bunted her way on and walked. Runner goes, throw down to second, safe. It was close, but she got the foot yeah. in. We had a pretty good look at it straight on. That left foot got in just ahead of the tag. Yeah, Bella Dayton has a lot of speed. That's Six runs on eight hits for Texas so far. And... and it looks like it could be a timing violation. I'm not... Ball shot deep towards center field. Henry spinning around and makes the catch. Hard to, to find any part of their game that they're not clicking in right now. Yeah. Ground ball up the middle. That's speared by Vivian Martinez. <laughs> and throws out much. And their defense has been outstanding, too. To your point, Mark, I mean, that was on cue, right? So they return. And that's going to hit Beecham on that left leg of the foot. And a hit by pitch, which Jason E on base for a second time, and she walked in her first plate of her. Ball down the left field side, and that's run down. Bella Dayton snags one right along the line. There's a pretty good chance that would have been fair. It was right there. And a for this Texas team, and uh, Tegan Kavan, a very good freshman pitcher as well. Tap back towards the circle. And the toss by Ashton Danley. And that's a big out. That's the first inning so far coming into tonight's game. And 13 of those wins last year. That ball shot past the diving second baseman Flaherty. And in the right end, Mitchell has her first hit of the game. Atwood chops it out to second. Flip there by Torres to Flaherty. And over to Ross, 6-4-3. To win the inning, each team's now turned to double play tonight. And for the similar as a true freshman at Arizona State. And then the numbers she put up last year for Texas were very similar to her freshman numbers. That ball shot to right field and snagged in right field by Maloney. And that's through the hole on the left side. 
Second base hit for Issa Torres, who's an Austin area native from Georgetown, Texas. It's two for two. And Ross, good numbers this year. Really getting the chance to contribute more offensively. It's one back to the circle, out at second. Martinez throw to first is not in time. We do get the lead runner, Torres, for the second out. Against Duke. A couple of doubles, her second three-hit game of the season. Runner takes off, and that ball is sent by Atwood into center field. And Ross is going to wind up all the way at third after her 19th stolen base in 19 tries this year. On Danley. Floated to left. Mia Scott is there. So, Sibinol's threatened, but Strand two. They've now... For the ACC or the Big 12, you have to be mindful of your series coming up this weekend. Jason Beecham. Look on in the top of the fifth. Her Patty Ruthie brought in a pitching coach. I mean, a lot of people think of Mike White as not just a head coach, but a pitching coach. And the strikeout, Danley. It's her second K. State, by the way, won that game one to nothing. Three up, three down for the first time. Stanley gets the strikeout of Martinez. It's good command. I mean, these lefty-lefty matchups are just tough. Flaherty and Mudge. Right in on the hands and a little yeah. pop-up to check. One out. You're trying to hit the front edge of the plate. You're trying to hit the back edge of the plate. Another chance for check, but this one she can't field cleanly. A little dribbler. Back to the backstop. Belvise at second. Beecham gets jammed, rolls it out to Mitchell at third. Heading to third base, Belvise, good base running. Out of Belvise to take the 60 feet. What you're giving? They're, they are great fans. Slow ground ball right side. That's gobbled up. Washington in the underhand toss ends the inning. And Check keeps, keeps Florida State off the board. It's 42 plus innings. Driven towards right center field. It's over the head of Kerr and off the top of the fence. And Kerr gets it in quickly. It'll be a long single for Katie Simmons. It's a sack bunt. He's reached on a fielder's choice and stolen a base. Lays down a bunt. Well played that time. And Jason E. Beecham just barely able to nip Dayton. Like, right. like Henry has. A true freshman has a half dozen homers this year. She backs away from that one up and in from Royalty. And it's going to put Maloney over at third base. Plate umpire says that's a strike, so it's 3 2. Now it's ball four. Well, and I was just going to say, that's just her sixth walk of the year. If, uh, even as a leadoff, she's, she's not one that goes up. Potentially can end the game in the bottom half, but Scott hits a possible double play ball in the tag. At second base by Flaherty ate up enough time with Henry running that it allows Maloney to come in and score, so it's 7-0. <laughs> and she walks. By the way, she dies a... 14 game on base street, 14 games in a row after the base hit her last time up. A couple of runners on, two outs. And that's driven to deep right center field towards the scoreboard and gone. She doesn't hit a ton the other way, but she does there. She'd gone 11 games without a homer, and that's number 11 on the season. Well, that matches her total as a freshman last year, a little bit, I would say a little bit of March that she hasn't had a lot of home runs, but again, going inside out. This is where she is so strong. She has a lot of doubles the opposite way and she's punched the wall a lot the other way, but this one, she gets underneath it. She gets carry. And again, one of the things when you look at this Texan, just so good. That's a strikeout of Reaches out, slow roller to third. Jolie Mitchell, low, but dug out by Stewart at first base. I have to, to be on guard every pitch thinking, 
thinking. Well, Issa Torres, who, yeah. uh, as I mentioned, is from Georgetown, Texas, just a few miles up by 35 from... Knock the queen off her perch. No, well, it's a good, good question. We'll have to wait and find out. Yes. <laughs> Stick around till at least June, folks. And here's a strikeout of Ross and Florida State down to their series. Two of the last three years and three of the last five. That's out to short. Martinez throws to first and in six innings. Number two, Texas runs rule, run rules number 18, Florida State, 10-0. Yeah, just a really good job of Texas to come in here and to the Seminole Softball Complex and run ruled Florida State. First time in 10 years. Yeah, this is a Texas team with a lot of talent. They did a lot of things right, but a, a very young and growing Florida State team that's uh, got some great series ahead of them in the ACC Conference coming up. Texas improves to 25-3. and three. Again, they go down uh, the state to Orlando, UCF to start back.